the fun part watching you, Josh Smoker, here and, and your attempt to come back to professional baseball and eventually the major leagues, right. were all these kids lined up behind you because you <laughs> were once one of these kids, a, uh, a youngster legend pitching in two consecutive WWBAs, elite stuff, your velocity grew. Talk about the perfect game experience. Now that you're a grown man and you've right. played professionally, you understand what it's like to be these young players, don't you? Oh, yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I uh, came out here from Georgia, small town, you know, um, seeing all these scouts. It was kind of eye-opening. Um, but I'll tell you, it's fun, some of the best memories I've ever had, um, getting on the mountain, all the golf carts back there. It's cool. You can't, you can't get this anywhere else. It's, it's amazing. So you, uh, with the, the Washington Nationals in 07, a supplemental first-round pick, and uh, obviously, you know, give it a nice long chance with them, six seasons in the Nationals organization, but you wanted to pitch more. The Rockford Aviators last year, yep. that proves to organizations that you want to keep pitching. Uh, describe, first of all, your first six years and kind of the ups and downs with the Washington organization. Uh, draft day, again, remember it like it was yesterday. Um, it was amazing. I was at my trainer's place in Kennesaw, and um, when they, they gave me a call a little bit before they announced it, and uh, I was ecstatic. Um, I. Uh, couldn't describe it in words. Um, so, come down to Florida for the uh, Gulf Coast League, and um, kind of eye-opening a little bit. You know, it's it's not like what you would expect professional baseball to be, but at the same time, it's a learning tool um, to get you into that next step. Um, I had some I had some downs. I had a couple of surgeries. Um, those are a little frustrating, but um, at the same time, you kind of gotta put that behind you and not worry about it, and uh, and worry about what you can control and um, came back after my second surgery. Uh, started out in high A, and um, velocity was there, everything was good, command was good, and uh, had another sur shoulder surgery. Um, so, I mean, at the same time, that's, that's baseball. You kind of have to deal with the ups and the downs. And um, the good thing about this sport is you find out what you're made of, and um, you're gonna run into some speed bumps, and you're gonna have some highs, you're gonna have some big lows, um, but you just gotta keep fighting. And then you did keep fighting. If you go play independent league baseball with a lot of guys that have the same hopes as you, you're now on the outside looking in. Uh, describe this last summer with Rockford. Unbelievable. I, uh, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Um, I get there and it's hands down the best group of guys I've ever played with. There's no egos. Everybody got along. There are no cliques. Um, and it was, it was fun to play baseball again. It wasn't, I mean, ultimately you want to get to that, to the highest level, but at the same time, it was a game again. And our manager, he, he did a phenomenal job of, of keeping it fun, um, letting us go out and play our own game. And it was, it was, it was good to play ball again. It was, and it, I, I think it actually helped me have a better mindset playing this game. Um, we all get a little frustrated at times, but he, he was a major role in, in helping me get that good positive mindset back again. So if in fact I'm a, uh, a major league general manager and I sent one of, my, one of my lieutenants to come out here and watch you pitch, they're all writing their reports right now over our shoulder, uh, why should someone take a chance on you? I, I won't give up. <laughs> um, I'll do whatever it takes to, to, to get there. I mean, I, I, I love this game. I've done it since I was three years old and uh, I'm going to continue to love it, whether it's playing coaching, whatever it may be, I, I want to stay in the game for as long as I can. And I would imagine, and I did speak with someone from an organization who said it shows me a lot, not only that he played independent league ball, but he reached out to the Ford family, reached out to Perfect Game, and uh, said, look, there's a bunch of 15 through 17 year olds where a 25 year old wants to come and throw, you know, one more time. He understands that that'll be there. Uh, obviously, the humility you show and the ability to come out here and do what you just did, uh, you certainly uh, are willing and, and to come down here. What was this like? I mean, did you get, were you nervous? Did you, did you get the youthful energy back? Yeah. There were a lot of people watching you. It, it brought back memories. It, it was, it was good to get back out here in Jupiter. And it, it's been a long time since I've, obviously through spring training and things I've played here, but when you're not getting paid to do it, it's it's a lot different, and it, it brought back some good memories. I, I was a little nervous, but but I, I'm just glad that I, I got the chance to get out here in front of these guys and throw. Former Washington National, now he hopes to be someone's left-hander, hopefully making a rise to the big leagues. Uh, great stuff at Calhoun High School. Young man out of Georgia, still a young man compared to a lot of us, and we wish him the best. Mr. Smoker, best of luck to you. Thank you very much.